All right, I want to show you uh, something about the e-cigarette. There's a problem that uh, some e-cigarette people users are, are uh, experiencing. And uh, let me start off by just giving you uh, a basic overall of the e-cigarette for you people who don't know anything about them. I've just got I've just done some drawings here. I don't have any e-cigarette with me, but as you can see over here is the battery only that would be the battery and it's usually a 3.6 volt battery with a MHA of 650 uh, the cone is in the middle which is also the atomizer and then you have the tank over here itself um, let me explain a little more about the tank the tank is pretty ingenious device and here's a, a big picture of it if you look at your if you look at your tank carefully you'll see that it contains an area that you fill up with uh, nicotine liquid nicotine and that is the actual tank that's the reservoir or supply for uh, the actual nicotine on the sides of it, if you look closely on your tank you will see two flat areas on the sides of it on each side one on each side and if you look really close you'll see up here at the top part of each flat area there's a tiny little slit cut into the flat area which will which allows a connection between the flat areas and a tube that goes up to the end of the tank which is where you inhale from now that's that's basically your tank. You fill it up, and uh, you put a cap on it. You put a cap into it. If uh, if you look down into the uh, tank itself, or into the atomizer, you will find this is something what it looks like, and you will notice that there are two areas that I've darkened up. Those are areas spaces that. Are there to allow the vapor to come up from below this is this is looking down is it there's a tube like this something like this that you'll be familiar with this is the atomizer down below and then there's a tube which the liquid flows down into the atomizer from the tank and on each side of that there's those those uh, air vents that I was just talking about over here and this is like looking straight down the tube and the, the liquid the juice goes down the tube gets atomized below there and then the, the vapor is sucked up this way where it's inhaled now I'll give you another view of uh, what it looks like if you're looking down the battery right here you would see uh, uh, some rings down there. One of those rings is the uh, connection, with the positive connection for uh, the power, and the uh, case itself is the negative connection for the power. And uh, if you look at the cone itself, you'll find a similar setup like that, where the two of them just screw together, and when they screw together, they, uh, they make a connection. Now, an important thing, really important thing for you to know if you're using the, the tank system, the Ego tank system, is the tank, if you look closely at this drawing, you notice there's like a, a little ring area here, over there, and I want you to notice that. What that is is a built-in O-ring, so that when the tube punctures the tank, there's, it's it seals off by using that O-ring. The, the, th the key thing is, is the O-ring again up here, and you can see where the tube goes through it. Now the key thing is that when you use this system, if you'll notice on this picture, the, the atomizer down below here, and then there's a section in the middle where the two connect and you'll see you'll notice that I have those sections flush 
If you don't have them flush, if you have them more like this upper picture here, what happens is uh, liquid will come out from around the uh, connection and when it comes out from around the connection it'll come back this way and go into those two flat areas that I told you about through the slot and get drawn back through the tube and into your mouth and uh, also besides being drawn that way and into your mouth it will go out this way also to where let me show you for the battery for the battery and the cone, cone connect in this area so you, if you don't have that pressed down tightly what will happen is liquid will like I say it will come up this way back up and into your mouth it will also go down this way and out through these two little vents that are on the battery that are, that are there to allow uh, air to come into this uh, atomizing zone to allow the, the whole process to uh, function correctly. But what will happen is uh, you'll end up with uh, a mess all, all types all, all sorts of area all around this area here uh, will get totally soaked with liquid and liquid will be drawn up and into your mouth. So the way to prevent that is to make sure that when you when you take your uh, you took your tank and you take the cap off of your tank what you're going to do is you're going to fill the tank up not all the way leave, leave a little space in the top of it then take your cap and carefully place the cap down inside now here's, here's your uh, tank right here these are just crude drawings and there's your supply area and there's your cap now like I say it's important that you get the cap all the way in there or else it'll leak in this area that's that's just one area that it can leak another area it's is even more crucial than that is uh, where the uh, the tank actually connects down inside of the uh, the cone that has to be all the way in Totally in. Don't just stop when you feel a little resistance. You've got to uh, make sure that you get that all the way in. If you if you don't seal, if you don't end up sealing that little uh, area, that that O-ring area that I told you about, it'll leak. And the thing is, if you're using one of these and you're getting nicotine in your mouth or on your hands or anywhere else on this device then obviously you have a leak and the leak is at one of those two places that I just told you about it will either be the cap itself or it will be the tank not being pushed far enough down into the atomizer so just make sure you get this thing put together tight that's the key the best advice I can give you is to put it together tight and as long as it's together tight you won't have a problem. It won't leak. Uh, it's designed not to leak. There's no way they, they, uh, the liquid can get into your mouth as long as it's put together right. So uh, that's just that's just one problem that you can have with uh, with this particular e-cigarette. Other than that, uh, it seems it seems to be a good cig. It seems to be a good uh, device. I shouldn't call it a cigarette. It seems to be a good device. Uh, the uh, the batteries are, are, are great on them. The um, the tank design and system is well designed and works well. It's not perfect, but it's it, it's it's well designed. Uh, the weakest point that I can see on this possibly might be the uh, the atomizer itself at some point. But like I say, the tank is uh, a pretty double. Looks like it's made of two different. Uh, Two dissimilar plastics. Looks like maybe a PE and a uh, uh, Starflex type plastic. The cap itself is kind of rubbery, um, but the tank itself is is a very durable PE. I'm pretty sure. So um, 
it, se it seems to be a good uh, electronic cigarette and uh, I don't have one with me now because uh, I don't use one I don't I don't smoke and I don't use uh, an e-cigarette either I quit 21 years ago if I didn't if I did smoke I probably would definitely be using this system uh, from what I've researched it seems to be a, a good system and uh, my girlfriend does use this she has it home with her right now and uh, she had this problem she's had it for about two weeks and she's had this leaking problem for the whole two weeks and this morning I took some time to uh, investigate and I looked at the cigarette and figured out how it worked and uh, saw that, she, saw that uh, she had it assembled incorrectly so that's why it was leaking on her it was pretty frustrating but uh, hopefully she'll get past that and uh, she'll stick with this because as uh, as cigarettes go or uh, vaping goes uh, this is it's much better to be vaping basically uh, a little vegetable glycine and uh, or polyglycine and uh, and uh, some nicotine and some flavor than the other 5,000 poisonous gases that your average everyday cigarette has. So I would much rather have her be smoking these. So anyways, if yours is leaking, that's the problem. And uh, the key is put it together tight and you shouldn't have a leak. And uh, good luck with that.